Hi, and welcome to AE Health's IELTS test preparation videos. In this video, you will see a Vietnamese candidate who would likely score 8.5 for their performance on this interview. Also, for this video, we've decided to partner with Cambly, an app that allows you to connect with a native English speaking tutor to practice your IELTS speaking 24 hours a day, seven days a week, anywhere, anytime. Cambly has been generous enough to give a 10% discount for the next two weeks in the month of August 2018. Use this code to get your 10% discount. As well, you can use this code to get 15 minutes free trial for your first time. When you practice the skills in this video and then connect with a professional Cambly tutor, you will surely improve your speaking band scores for the IELTS. Try Cambly today. Welcome to the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. My name is Adrian. I will be your examiner for this part of the test. Uh, to begin, can I see your identification, please? Thank you. And what is your full name, please? My full name is Nguyen Tin Dat. Okay, and what should I call you, uh, uh, Tin Dat? You can just call me Daniel. Okay, Daniel, I'm going to put your passport here and I will give it back to you at the end of the speaking exam. Uh, the speaking exam has three parts. I will give you instructions for each part. Are you ready to begin? Yes, of course. Okay, for part one, I'm going to uh, get to know you a little bit better and ask you some questions on a general topic. Currently, do you work or study? I'm currently a student and I study electrical engineering at the Hanoi University of Science and Technology. And uh, when you're not working or studying, what do you like to do in your free time? Well, when I'm not cramming for an exam, uh, I like to hang out with my friends. Uh, for instance, yesterday I had a great two-hour chat with my friend in the coffee shop. Okay, uh, let's talk about food. How often do you eat in a day? I usually eat four or five times a day. Uh, I have breakfast, uh, lunch and dinner and one or two snacks. What do you usually eat for breakfast? Well, if I had to say, I likely eat cereal with milk most often, although I eat fruits and eggs too. I think I eat a bowl of cereal more than anything else. Do you like to cook? Why or why not? Mm, I don't really like to cook because I'm not very good at it. Like last weekend, I tried to make some spaghetti and it just didn't really taste very good. So I, I think I put too much salt on it. What is your favorite food and what do you like about it? My favorite type of food is definitely a good beef. Uh, it is a Vietnamese uh, traditional noodle soup and if done correctly, it just tastes great. If you could eat any kind of food, what would it be and why? That's an uncommon question. Just give me a moment to think. Sure. If I could try any food, um, I think I would like to try the most expensive caviar, uh, not just because it costs a lot, but uh, also because I think it would probably like, taste amazing. All right, that is the end of part one. Now we will continue with part two. For part two, I'm going to give you a card. Please don't turn it over. Uh, also, uh, here is some note paper and a pencil. You will have one minute to read the questions, think about your answer, prepare your notes, and then you will have two minutes to speak. I will tell you when to start and when to stop. Are you ready to begin? Yes. Okay, then your one minute preparation time begins now.
Okay, your one minute preparation time is up. Please begin speaking, Daniel. Mm, if I had a chance to hang out with a person for 24 hours, it would probably be Jim Carrey. Uh, I love comedy and I think he's one of the funniest people on earth. I've seen many of his movies over the years and uh, they all made me laugh so hard. I'd love to find out more about uh, his personal life and uh, maybe even hear some original jokes. Uh, I think a good place to meet with Mr. Carey would be in a quiet pub. After a few drinks we could uh, really get into some conversation, uh, we could order some food. I could find out what a true comedian really likes to eat. Um, and most importantly, I think uh, a quiet pub would give the right atmosphere to just let loose and uh, be ourselves. I'd like to talk about a variety of topics with uh, Mr. Carey, um, but most importantly, just to find out um, who he really is uh, off camera. I'm interested to know about his uh, journey to become famous, uh, which one of his movies uh, he liked doing the most, um, what were some of the biggest uh, difficulties uh, he had during his career, and uh, what he plans to do in the future. Um, of course, uh, I would ask him if he knows some funny jokes. Um, uh, the reason I'd like to meet with Mr. Carey is because I think a good laugh is one of the most amazing parts of life. And there aren't many people who know more about this uh, than him. Since he's very, very famous, it is virtually uh, impossible to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. Okay, and your two minutes is up, uh, so I'll stop you there. Uh, please hand back the uh, note paper, your notes, the pencil and the card. Thank you. And now we will continue with part three. For part three, I'm going to ask you some more questions related to the topic of part two. Are you ready to continue? Yes. Okay, then let's talk about celebrities. What do you think is required for a person to become a celebrity and why? Mm. I think hard work and talent are definitely important to become famous. Uh, also, I believe that people do need luck to meet the right person at the right time. For example, Pamela Anderson, the famous actress, she got discovered while in the crowd at a football game. Have you ever met a celebrity before? If yes, tell me about it. Yes, actually I have. Uh, while I was visiting in Japan, I met the Yokozuna after a sumo tournament and I got to shake his hand. That was about five years ago. Most celebrities earn a lot of money. Do you think this is good? Why or why not? That's an interesting question. Yes, I actually agree that some celebrities should earn a lot of money because they sacrifice both their time and privacy for their position. I mean, they live pretty hard lives, so I think they should be rewarded somehow. Okay, let's talk about meeting new people. Many individuals believe that first impressions are very important for good relationships. Do you agree with this statement? Why or why not? Yes, I absolutely agree um, that uh, first impressions are uh, crucial for good relationships. Especially these days, people live uh, very fast lives and uh, they often don't have much time to uh, get to know people. Uh, I mean, I met this girl like two weeks ago and she was extremely rude, so I decided never to hang out with her again. Where are some good places to meet friends for the first time? Why? Mm, a good 
place to meet a body uh, on a first occasion, I think, is a coffee shop, uh, both because it is uh, comfortable and uh, quiet. I mean, compared to meeting in a loud pub or a dance club. How has meeting people today changed from 20 years ago? I think the biggest change for this is uh, definitely the internet. Uh, I mean, a couple of decades ago, people always, always uh, almost uh, met face to face. However, these days, people usually meet online uh, through social media like Facebook. Uh, I mean, I met this cool guy from LinkedIn. Uh, last month who could really help me out with my engineering homework. Okay, that is the end of part three and that concludes the speaking portion of the IELTS exam. You will have your marks at the same time as with the other sections in about two weeks. Uh, here is your passport back. Uh, have a wonderful rest of your day, Daniel. Thank you. Thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Now you might be wondering why does this candidate get an 8.5 on their performance in this IELTS speaking interview? Well, there are several reasons. Number one, the candidate has a great range of vocabulary, also called lexical resource. Notice some of the words that he uses in part one, part two, and part three. Also, the candidate uses a wide range of grammar. The candidate shows that they're able to use present perfect, conditionals, adjective clauses, and all of the tenses in the English language. As well, this candidate clearly understands every question that is asked during the interview. Their responses are natural and the intonation and pronunciation are clear and close to that of a native speaker. To see many more speaking interviews like this one and to get lots more help with all sections of the Academic IELTS, please visit us at www.aehelp.com and join our world-class interactive online IELTS course.